Spring is here, sunny days are coming, so let's just take a lighthearted look at what Canada is today. Even though right now you're suffering under high taxes and the high cost of everything, but look back. We all elected Justin Trudeau as Prime Minister three times. And three elections, he says, I'm going to increase taxes. I'm going to have a carbon tax. I'm going to increase all these other taxes. Do you think our Prime Minister was lying to us? He doesn't lie to us. He may lie about himself, but surely he doesn't lie to us. We should have believed him when he said he's going to increase the taxes. Look at what else is going on in this country. ESG, environmental and social and governance. That is what all the big law firms and all the public interest groups are telling companies. They need more ESG, and then you'll be fine. Don't worry about profits. Don't worry about what you're making. ESG is the big thing for all Canadians. Well, I think if a company just wanted to say, we're going to hire a transgender board of directors, they could escape all of that. Everything would be fine. So what else is going on in Canada? We have the publisher of the Toronto Star, that great liberal paper. He's rich. That paper gets millions from the government. He's saying, we need more money from the government because we have these wonderful columnists. They have a columnist on the front page who is saying anything that is touched by a white male is racist. They haven't quite said that two plus two equals four is racist, but some teachers are saying that. I mean, only in Canada would that happen. And then you look at what's going on, say, in Finland. Finland joined NATO. They are gearing up. They want to defend themselves. In Canada, we have gender-neutral uniforms coming along. The minister said that. She wants that, along with tattoos, blue hair, pink hair. We don't need more bullets because we are going to have the enemy dying, laughing on the ground when they see Canadian troops coming wherever it is. It is just a national farce. And then you look at Australia. They are getting contracts. They are doing business all around the place. In Canada, we have the head of uh, Japan, we have the head of Germany coming for a meeting with our prime minister. Please send us natural gas. It's going to be a cold winter. It's going to be a hot summer. We need energy. Our prime minister, that great businessman, as we all know, says, I see no business case for that. He sent them packing. Not that it had much to do with jobs in Canada. So, and then you look finally at what's going on in Canada. The prime minister says that social media is disruptive to a democracy. So all those people in Ottawa can have their own newspapers, have their own cocktail parties, hire their friends, hire their brothers and sisters, have this inbred place. We don't want that disturbed by social media, so we are going to have bureaucrats set up as censors to say what might be hurtful, hurtful to the prime minister, and then it's going to be kicked off. So that's where we are right now, Canada, not quite a joke in the nation or in the world, but our prime minister is a joke in any event. Have sunny days. Justin Trudeau is now on the record as saying that social media is destabilizing and he wants to bring in censorship to determine what can be put on and not on social media. That is wrong. Please support this station and please add your address so I can write you a letter and thank you for supporting freedom of speech.